Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another one-shot review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Mezco 112 Collective, Dr. Zayas. And this figure is not really brand new. He came out probably about three months ago. And that's why I'm just doing a one-shot review of him because I kind of feel like I missed my opportunity to do a full-on review. But I wanted to make some kind of video dedicated to Dr. Zayas because I absolutely love this figure. And it makes me so happy that someone is finally revisiting the Planet of the Apes franchise. Because a couple years back, NECA had a really good line of Planet of the Apes figures. And I always wish that they would have went back to it especially with what they have going on right now because they're killing it like they're doing the ultimates thing they have updated articulation NECA has a lot of good stuff going on and I always felt like if they went back to Planet of the Apes they could have done some incredible figures but for whatever reason they never did it but thankfully Mezco came along and revealed this freaking masterpiece at Toy Fair 2020 and this is by far the thing that I was most excited about from the entire event not just from Mezco but from every other company the thing that I couldn't wait for was the Mezco Dr. Zayas and now that I finally have it they just killed it everything about this figure is very well done right out of the box he's very impressive just like every other Mezco figure he does come with the standard big ass Mezco box we get some cool looking Planet of the Apes artwork on the front and all that good stuff it is collector friendly blah 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 but the figure itself is very very impressive i think they did a great job all the way around the soft goods look nice the sculpting work is very well done and in my opinion they just killed it and i just really really love this figure i can't really tell what body they use though originally i thought they used the gomez body but then it seems a little bit shorter than gomez so i thought maybe they have the gorm the gomez torso and then they gave him new arms because as you could see he does have fully sculpted ape arms so the arms are definitely not reused from Gomez. But I think the midsection is all Gomez and then they just gave him different arms and legs just to like adjust the proportions a little bit, you know, just to make him look a little bit shorter and chubbier and stuff. And another way they kind of added to his chubbiness is they gave him like a, a fat suit. So you have the shirt under here and then underneath the shirt, there's some kind of padding to make him look a little bit heavier in the midsection here. And that definitely works for Dr. Zayas. Unfortunately, it does hinder the articulation a little bit, but Dr. Zayas isn't going to be jumping around or crouching or doing any of that kind of stuff. He's just like a, like a mean ass politician. He's just going to stand there and talk about how bad humans are. <laughs> so as long as he could, uh, you know, do whatever poses it requires to, to do that stuff, then I think I'm all right. So I, I really don't mind the fat suit idea when it comes to Dr. Zayas. I think it worked out pretty well. But this is a great looking figure, man. The soft goods look really nice. There's no loose threads or anything messed up, nothing ugly. Everything just looks really great. I like how he has the symbols here on this part of the jacket. And all of it just, it came out really, really good. I like everything about this figure. Let me go ahead and bust out the uh, NECA Dr. Zayas just to give you a comparison. And <laughs> I, st I still love these NECA Planet of the Apes figures. Dr. Zayas isn't the best one or anything. But um, I think he, he's pretty damn good. But yeah, no competition here. The Mezco one just kills the NECA one. I feel like Planet of the Apes, like the designs from the original movies, I feel like those designs work very well with the Mezco style and aesthetic and everything. Just with the soft goods. And then Mezco can kind of flex their sculpting muscles with the head sculpts and everything. And this is definitely like the best movie to Mezco head sculpt that I've ever seen. It's pretty much perfect in my opinion. They did a great job with that head sculpt. It looks very, very nice. And uh, the jacket does come off. Let me go ahead and remove the jacket. But if you want to remove the jacket, it's easiest to do it when you remove the hands. So let's go ahead and take off one of the hands and just remove the jacket so you could get a look at what he looks like without the jacket because it does add some display options if you want to do some different stuff. I don't remember him looking like this in the movies though, but you know, he could have he could have looked like this at some point and I'm just forgetting, but you know, if you want to display, even if you wanted to get like another Dr. Zayas and maybe repaint the head or something, you know, you could get like a whole different look by just taking off the jacket. And it is kind of hard to put the jacket back on unless you remove the hands. I was having some trouble before, so let me go ahead and take actually this hand was okay this one didn't give me any problems so there we go and yeah it's pretty easy to get the jacket on and off and that's cool because it's like uh gives you some more display options i will say that i feel like the tailoring could have been a little bit better on the soft goods because it does look puffy at times but that could also be because of the fat suit but aside from that yeah see as you can see it does look a little little puffy 
but it's not too bad. I think overall the soft goods are extremely well done, and I just really like the way this figure looks. Let's get his thumb out of there. He can't be talking bad about humans, but like embarrassing himself with a wardrobe malfunction, you know? He's got to look right if he's going to be talking shit. But um, yeah, look at that. That thing is amazing. And he does come with a bunch of really good accessories. He has multiple sets of hands. Let's see, he has one, two, three, four, five, six sets of hands. We have some fists, we have some gripping hands, we have some open hands, we have some eight posed hands or whatever you want to call them. And then he has these crazy hands where his fingers are kind of out doing their thing. You could use these to have him like yelling or making a speech or doing something like that. So there's a lot of different options for the hands. Aside from the hands, he does come with the paper airplane, which is awesome because that's from the movie when he got all pissed off when somebody made a paper airplane. I think it was uh, Charlton Heston. I forget his character's name. What an idiot I am, huh? <laughs> Fake fan poser. But uh, yeah, so that's cool. And then he does come with a little doll, which is really nice. This does have a bunch of really good sculpting work on it. And then he does come with the Lawgiver statue, which is awesome too. And I like all the details on there. You can see that um, the, the little ape has a very similar like robe to Dr. Zaius, so that's cool. Then he does have like the little sacred scrolls. And speaking of the sacred scrolls, he does come with two of them. And originally, I thought maybe one of them like didn't come apart, but they both do. So these are really cool. And it actually has the the scrolls from the actual movies. Like it has the actual words that were in the movies. It says, "Beware, beware the beast man, for he is the devil's pawn." Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, that's really cool. And you could actually read it. So, man, the accessories are crazy on this guy. I love all the stuff that he comes with. And then aside from all that cool stuff, he does come with an additional head where the mouth is open. And this is equally as well done as the other head. So they killed it, man. They killed it with the sculpted parts. They killed it with the accessories. They killed it with the look of the figure. Oh, and he does come with his cane, as you can see here. So... There we go. But let's go ahead and get into some size comparisons. So first off, man, why can't I remember the dude? Why can't I remember Charlton Heston's character's name? That's gonna bug me. But anyways, for size comparisons, we have Dr. Zaius alongside Ursus and Aldo, or Ursus and Aldo. But uh, yeah, these are the, the NECA ones, and these look really good next to him. It, it'd be nice if Mezco got around to them, but even if not, they look really good next to him. So I'm definitely going to hold on to these guys and have them hang around with Dr. Zaius. And then we do have Cornelius and Dr. Zaius. And Cornelius, I feel, is like too big to hang out with him. So hopefully Mezco will get around to making him. And then we do have one of the uh, prisoner apes from Conquest the Planet of the Apes. And the original Caesar. George Taylor. Oh, George Taylor. Thank you. The assistant hooked me up with the information. George Taylor. Oh, yeah, Taylor. Okay. Ta uh, George doesn't sound familiar, but Taylor for sure. But, uh... There we go. There's Caesar, the original Caesar. And that Caesar is cool and everything, but he doesn't compare to the freaking, the man right here. Bam! Caesar from uh, the Planet of the Apes reboot. And we also have the NECA King Kong. Whoa, he's huge. Let's back him up a little bit. So I like this Dr. Zayas figure so much that I almost was going to go to eBay and try to buy like a, a outfit <laughs> for this King Kong to have him hang around with this Dr. Zayas. Have, have him be his bodyguard or something. I think that would be cool. But uh, yeah, I think they look great together. And let's do some other random movie stuff. I do have the Mezco 112 Collective Orlock right here. And the NECA Sam from Trick or Treat. That's a good figure kind of an underrated figure honestly i don't hear too i don't hear too many people talking about that that guy and that's an awesome figure and i've never seen that movie but i still love this figure one of these days i'm gonna have to do a one shot maybe maybe next year for halloween or something uh what else do we have i think that might be it except for bam pizza spider-man and bucky cap there we go And just for fun, we have uh, Odious. <laughs> so 
Odious and Dr. Zayas hanging out doing their thing. Let's go ahead and do a head swap real quick. Odious figure coming soon. And by soon, I mean not soon at all. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Throw Dr. Zayas head over here. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely going to use the NECA figures as background figures for Dr. Zayas. I want to do like a whole Planet of the Apes display. I would love to do that. I've wanted to do that ever since I've had these NECA figures. But um, this Dr. Zayas will make for a really good centerpiece for that, you know. But let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation very quick. Even though like articulate, you know, I'm a big articulation guy, but when it comes to a character like this, I'm not too concerned. As long as he could do like some basic stuff, some creeping around, kind of just hanging out doing his thing, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. So I don't have super high expectations as far as the articulation goes with this particular character. I mean, I feel like what we have going on here is perfectly fine for him, even though there are some restrictions because of the soft goods. I feel like we could pretty much, you know, do anything we need to do for Dr. Zayas. But let's go ahead and take a look. So first off, the head does move side to side. We get some nice tilt which is nice. He could look up only to about right there, but then his hair kind of gets in the way. He could look down to right there. He does have movement at the lower neck and at the upper neck. Yeah, a little bit of movement at the lower neck, but not too much. Most of the movement is going to come from the head itself, but you don't get too much. And then for the torso, like I said, it is hindered a little bit because of the fat suit, but it does go forward to about right there. Comes back to about right there. And then we get some side to side. For the arms, his arms do come up a pretty good amount, even with the jacket. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Damn. That's actually really good. I don't know if you want to do it with both arms at the same time, though, but that's pretty good. You could bring it back to right there. Bring his arms out to the side. He's got double-jointed elbows, which is something I'm very happy to see here. I would have been so pissed off if they used the Joker body. I mean, I still would have bought it. I'll be honest with you. I still would have bought it. I would have broke my rule for uh, Dr. Zayas, but uh, I would have been pissed off. So I'm very happy to see that they gave him new arms with double joints. So good stuff there. And then at the wrist, we have a ball joint that swivels and hinges. So that's cool. For the legs, let's see what we have going on here. Not going to get too much movement out of there because he does have his pants and then the shirt that comes down a little bit. But his leg kicks forward to right there, which is cool. Comes back to, to about right there. Comes out to the side. To right there, which is <laughs> like probably more than necessary, but get him to kick somebody if you want, I guess. You could kick one of those stinking humans, those damn dirty humans that won't stay in the cage or whatever. <laughs> so, I guess. Damn, he kind of looks like a badass. Whoosh. Whoosh. I don't know Dr. Zayas got down like that, but all right. Damn, yeah, so... He's got more articulation than than I would expect. And then he does have upper thigh swivel. He's got double jointed knee. At the foot, we have the typical Mezco kind of thing where we just have like a ball joint. But we get a little bit of rocking side to side. Goes forward to right there. Comes up to right there. And then kind of a swivel. But the way they did the pants makes it kind of, kind of dangerous if you just start swiveling it around. You might mess that up a little bit. But damn, I haven't really like pushed the articulation too much on this figure because I'm like, oh, why? You know, I don't really need to, but I'm kind of surprised by how poseable he is. I wasn't really expecting that. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the articulation. The only restriction really is the uh, torso area because of the fat suit, but he still kind of gets some good uh, stuff going. Like I would probably just have him pose like this. Freaking Dr. Zayas, man, he's a hater. <laughs> man, looks so good. But uh, yeah, I, this is a beautiful figure. I, I love everything that we have going on here. No big complaints. The only like thing I could kind of point out as a flaw is I wish the clothes, I wish the tailoring was a little bit tighter on the clothes. But um, you know, it's not, it, I, I don't know. Just like kind of sometimes when I see it, I'm like, oh, it's a little puffy, but it doesn't bug me that much. I think overall it looks amazing and the articulation is good. Accessories are good. And it's just a beautiful figure that makes me very, very happy. I can't wait to get more Planet of the Apes figures from Mezco. Like I said before, hopefully they just continue on and do as many characters as possible. I'm down for every single one of them. I can't wait for the 
the apes in the jumpsuits, the prison jumpsuits. Um, if that comes out like in a box set of three, shit, I'm gonna try to get three box sets. That's how much of those, <laughs> how many of those I'd want. I'm gonna get a minimum of two, but I would shoot for three. I would love to have a bunch of apes in jumpsuits all over the place, you know? Um, yeah, so I'm super down for that. I can't wait for those to come out. Um, and the fact that they're actually doing those makes me enjoy this figure even more because when I first got it I was assuming that it was gonna be the only one I was like, okay, you know at least we'll have a really good version of dr Zayas, but once they announced those even though like they weren't in the same movies or anything it, it still you know just to have all these apes like together is just gonna be crazy and you know for the apes and jumpsuits You could do a lot of cool stuff with just jumpsuits in general, but a bunch of apes and jumpsuits. That's come on man That's that's freaking awesome. So I cannot wait for those to come out and hopefully they they do some more I would really like to see Cornelius and I forget the girl's name Zaya or something like that um, to hang out with dr. Zayas and uh, Zyra is that what it is? Z I yeah, it's something like that Zyra um, so I would like them and also George Taylor, because I think the only other company that did a George Taylor was NECA, but it was like the retro one, like, and it was in, it was in his astronaut suit. Um, I would like, you know, <laughs> I would, this is going to sound funny coming from me. I know I understand, but I would like to get, uh, James Taylor in just a loincloth, you know, like from the movie, like from the majority of the movie or like an astronaut suit with the, the that you could take off and it's just him and his loincloth. I don't know. It's going to sound weirder and weirder. The point is, I just want a James Taylor figure so that Dr. Zayas could hit him with the cane and just treat him like shit, you know, <laughs> that's what I want. But uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Like I said, this makes me very, very happy. And I'm so happy to see that Mezco did an incredible job. Seems like they put their all into it. No shortcuts, no laziness. They just straight up killed it. So I'm very, very happy with this guy. And with that, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Also, be sure to hit the bell notification so you know every time that I go live. If you're not aware, I go live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time and every Friday 7 p.m. Pacific time. So come through hang out and let's talk about toys. Peace